This is the driver's side front. And then this is the passenger side front. Now we're using a T27, T27 hex bit to remove the bolts on the underskirt. So these are using T27 hex bits. Then using a 10 millimeter socket, we used it to remove the rest of the bolts that were on the underskirt. So these use the 10 millimeter socket. Now where you're trying to actually mount the brackets are these bolts here. So we're still looking at the driver's side, driver's side front. So there's a bolt here and there's a bolt here. And you will access the head from the back, the backing. So once you remove these bolts, that's, those are the bolts that you'll be using to uh, mount the bracket kit. And same on the uh, passenger side, same on the passenger side. We want to attack it from the back. So there's a bolt here and there's two bolts here, one bolt here and one bolt here. And that's where we're using to mount the bracket kit. And it's very symmetrical on the driver's side and the passenger side. Now using a size 15 millimeter socket, we'll get in from behind here and try to remove the two bolts that were mentioned. Using a size 15 millimeter socket, we'll get the bolts from behind. So there's one bolt here and one bolt here. This is this is the driver's side. So we're sticking with the driver's side right now. So once we put this in, we would be able to get this unbolt. To make the installation process more uh, smooth and easy to install, it is recommended that you actually remove the whole entire plastic skit so you have more room to get your drill in from behind because you want to attack it from behind, remember? Looking at the driver's side, after you remove the backing, the bolt looks something like this. So we'll keep this aside for the installation of the broad feet mounting bracket. So now we have the driver's side bracket mounted on. We had to do a little incision over here. And we utilize back the factory bolts. So this is the factory bolt and we will have to tighten it. And it was just easier to get the under skid out the way and then we'll make the trimming afterwards. And same on the passenger side, we are using the bolt over here. That's the factory bolt. And with this bracket kit, how do you know which one is driver's side and which one is passenger side? The, there's like, um, extra mounting hole if it's on the inner side which is once I have the bracket mounted and it's facing the right hand side that hole right there then this is the driver's side all right now we have the driver's side mounted and the passenger side mounted as well Bolt one and bolt number two is right here. That's bolt number, the outer bolt. So two bolts. To mount the 006, we'll just take the legs and then have one washer and a hex bolt and just screw that right and we'll adjust this afterwards. So we do not want to tighten it, we just want to secure it. And then when we bring it up to the vehicle, we can have more room to adjust.
Now installing the bar. We already put this in and the legs are here. So we tighten this with a bolt, a washer. The brackets go in between and then a washer, a spring washer and a nut. So we're using a 19 millimeter uh, socket for this. And for this, we need to tackle with a 19 millimeter wrench. So adjust as you go. Make sure it's not too close, too far. Um, and it is to your like it. Now to mount the other part of the plastic skit, we're going to need to do some cutting. And everything else would be bolted right back on. This right here is the passenger side of the Jeep Compass. We're making the trimming on the plastic underskirt. And now you can start piecing everything back together. We are 90% done now. We are looking at the driver's side. This is the driver's side. There is a little bolt there that holds the underskit. So we gotta tighten that up. So now there is only two bolts that's holding it. So this piece is for the driver's side where it sticks out and the bolt one here and another bolt here and we're using the factory bolts. And it's same thing, same thing on the passenger side. So bolt one and bolt two. And if you see, there's a piece that sticks out, which is right here. So this goes towards the inner side. So this part needs cutting. So the bracket kit have clearance. And that's pretty much it. And this is the passenger side of the Jeep Compass.